This video is about the tone arm mechanism of a Biogram 4000 series turntable. I will discuss the mechanism, I will show how to take it apart and I will show how to lubricate it. For more information please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. First I want to discuss the mechanism. Here you see the solenoid that activates the tone arm lowering process and this here is the damper that slows it down. The damper is connected with this arm to this slider and this slider here is blocked by this arm that is activated by the solenoid. You see this, um, this uh, spring here, so as soon as this arm gets pushed forward the spring now will pull this slider down and with that the arm here and that will pull out because this here is the joint. This will pull out the plunger of the damper and the end of that plunger now moves this arm here and this arm is responsible for releasing the tone arm that it can fall down on the platter. So let's see this in action. This is slow motion. So you see here that the slider moves down and it pulls this arm and here the, the uh, plunger is pushed out and this arm here is moving. So let's see this again. So this spring here pulls down the slider and then the arm here moves and that lowers the tone arm. That final click, that is the relay that pulls on to connect the cartridge to the preamp. Now let's have a look what this arm here is doing from the back of the cartridge assembly. So this here shows the back of the carriage with the cover removed and this is the other end of this arm. And so this piece that sticks out, that holds the tone arm up. So this here is connected to the tone arm assembly. And so when the plunger here goes down, then this arm here moves up and that releases this part and then the tone arm can go down. Let's have a look. You see here it moves up and now it releases it. So there is here a two millimeter gap or so that the tone arm is truly free. So let's have a look at this in real time, so we get a feel for it. So in the following I will demonstrate how to take this mechanism apart and how to re-lubricate it. The critical points are this bearing here and this bearing in my experience. The grease that's in here that is usually hardened and I had cases where this arm here was not movable anymore with the finger. Only with really strong force I was able to turn this around this pivot here. And so what we need to do is we need to take this all apart, uh, clean it and then put new uh, grease in here. I use um, silicone grease because that is non-corrosive. So the first step is taking out these two springs. The next step is unsoldering those two leads to the solenoid. Now we take the damper out, these are these two screws and then it comes off. So this here can be a little bit tricky to get it off here if the grease is really hard. 
And also you need to push this uh, tone arm lift mechanism back a little. Here we go. So now we take the slider out. The final steps are taking out this arm and the solenoid. To take out the arm we have to remove this uh, locking ring and um, it's best to remove it with these snap ring pliers. So these small um, tool ends here they fit into those those two half holes that are in this ring and so you can push the ring apart while you pull up the arm. So let's see or rather not because unfortunately my hand is obscuring the action. This here can be a little bit tricky and uh, it takes a few tries to catch this ring and also when the um, when the uh, bearing grease is very stuck it can be hard to remove this arm. So the final step now is to uh, take out those two screws of the solenoid it's best to mark the solenoid here that you have the right position when you put it back in. It can slide forward and backward a little bit. See now it is loose. And now we can take it out. And that's pretty much it. Now it's time to clean everything. So we need to get the old grease off these two pins. This works pretty well with uh, mineral spirits and a Q-tip. So nice and clean. Here you see all the parts. So what I usually do is I take some silicone grease and I lubricate the rod of the solenoid. I take out the plunger of the damper and I clean the inside and then put a little bit of that uh, silicone grease uh, onto the inner wall of the of the uh, damper. I clean out the holes with the Q-tip and mineral spirits of those arms and I also put a little bit of silicone grease on the uh, slider. So first the solenoid, so just a little bit silicone grease on that plunger and then you just move it in and out a little bit and to distribute the silicone grease and that's it. The plunger of the damper is slightly more challenging because it has a pretty tight fit on the inside and it's easy to get it stuck uh, should you pull it in a direction off center. It's good to actually open this valve here a little bit so air can get in while you pull it out. So you see here that I very carefully try to pull it out straight without getting it off center. If you tilt it, it can get stuck and it can then be difficult to get it moving again. So when you have it out like this, then you just put some silicone grease on the inside. I cleaned it in my previous attempt with mineral spirits on the, on the inside. So this video was done after I um, already had it out once and went through a learning curve. Now it's time to put it back together. First the solenoid. Basically we just do everything in reverse. Now comes the arm. And now the slider. And here comes the damper. and the springs. The last mechanical part is the locking ring. And there we go. And the final step is soldering the leads of the solenoid back onto the contact pads. 
So I usually just put some flux there and then heat up the solder that is already there with a little bit of solder that I bring in with the tip. There we go. The final step is to adjust the tone arm lowering time. The tone arm ideally should lower itself just uh, a little bit before the relay, the output relay clicks. The entire process should take about one second. And so the first step is of course to adjust the potentiometer for the output relay that it clicks in about a second or a little bit longer. And um, then it's time to adjust the valve of the damper. This here controls the, the airflow into the damper as the tone arm lowers. And so when we turn the screw in, then the airflow is reduced. If we turn the screw out, then the airflow is uh, increased. And so therefore the damper will move uh, faster. So the whole thing is done by trial and error while uh, cranking this, this screw with a screwdriver. So you just use the tone arm lift button and lower it and you listen to the relay and you adjust it. So here this was too fast, right? The relay was came quite on came on quite later. So this is pretty close. Right? The tone arm is down and the relay clicks. Okay. Getting close. So the whole thing takes about a second. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now you know how to clean and re-lubricate the tone arm mechanism. That concludes my video about the tone arm mechanism of a Biogram 4000 series turntable. Thanks for watching.